What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Ice Farm. This farm works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on your phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. Ice can be used to make player transportation systems, item transportation systems, and to make builds. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you a ton of ice. For this farm, all you'll need is two chests, two hoppers, a stack and two rails, six powered rails, five ladders, two water buckets, six signs, six torches, 30 slabs. By the way, you guys can use any type of slab that you want. 27 stairs, six levers, six ice. By the way, you guys can get ice by mining with a pickaxe that is enchanted with a silk touch, one Minecraft hopper, and finally, about five stacks of sod blocks. You guys can use any type of sod block that you want. The first step is to go to a biome that snows. Once you're there, take some sod blocks. You guys can use any sod blocks you want. Now, place down three. One, two, three. Now place down 14 solid blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now place a block at this spot. Then crouch down and place down a double chest. Now break this block. Then come behind the double chest, crouch down and place two hoppers. Make sure both of those hoppers are funneling towards the double chest. You guys can tell those hoppers are funneling towards the double chest because the nozzles should be pointed towards it. These hoppers will collect all the ice that is generated in this farm and funnel it into the double chest. The next step is to crouch down and place a block at this spot. Now come over here and place down two more blocks. Then turn this direction. Now place down 16 blocks. One, two, three, four, five. After you guys are done placing those 16 blocks, come over here, then place 16 blocks at this spot. The next step is to come over to this side. Now place two blocks over here and two over here. Now place one at this spot. Now place one block on top of that block. Then build out 16 blocks this way. One, two, three, four, five. At this point, your farm should be looking like this. The next step is to come over here. Now place a block at this spot. Then place a powered rail over here. Now place a lever at the side. Then flick the lever. That should power the powered rail. Now place down six rails over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then place a powered rail at this spot. Now place down a lever. Then flick it. That should power that powered rail. Now crouch down and place nine rails over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now place nine rails over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then place a powered rail at the spot. Now come underneath this powered rail. Then place down a lever and flick it. That should power that powered rail. Then place seven rails over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If at this point this rail and powered rail connect, you'll need to break both of them. Then place two rails over here. Now replace the powered rail. The next step is to place six rails over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And place a powered rail at the spot. Now come over here, place down a lever, then flick it. That lever should power that powered rail. Now place 11 rails over here. Then place 11 rails over here. Now place a powered rail at the spot. Then come over here, place a lever and flick it down. That should power that powered rail. Now place six rails over here. Now place a powered rail at this spot. Then place two blocks over here. Break this block. Finally, place a lever over here and flick it down. If the rails get messed up like that, break this powered rail and this rail, then replace the rail and place on the powered rail. As you guys can see there, that rail should be powered. After you guys are done placing all those rails, your farm should be looking like this. The next step is to come over here. Now place down three blocks. One, two, three. Now turn this way and build out 18 blocks. One, two, three, four, five. After placing those 18 blocks, come back over here. Now extend these two parts to 18 blocks as well. After you guys are done doing that, your farm should be looking like this. Now, place a row of blocks over here. After you guys are done with that step, come over here. Now, place down five stairs. One, two, three, four, five. Now, turn over this way and place stairs until you get to that side. After doing that, turn this way and place down four stairs. One, two, three, four. The next step is to turn over here. Now, place down 17 slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you have done that, place a block over here, then place in another 17 slabs, then place a block over here. The next step is to create an infinite water source. To do that, come over to one side, now place down four blocks, then place blocks all the way around. Now place down two water buckets. This infinite water source will allow you to fill in all the water for this entire farm. The next step is to place water in each of the stair blocks. By the way, the reason why we're placing water in the stair blocks is because water source blocks and stairs will never freeze. After placing water in each of the stair blocks, place water in each of these row of slabs. 
By the way, the reason why we place water in those slabs is because water source blocks will never freeze when they're in slabs. By having water source blocks around the edges of this farm, we will ensure that more ice can still be generated after the ice over here in the middle is harvested. By the way, if your infinite water source freezes while you're filling in the water, all you have to do is break the ice, then it will form again. The next step is to fill in and break your infinite water source. The next step is to come down here. Now place a minecart with hopper at the spot. This minecart with hopper will travel throughout those rails to collect all the ice that is harvested in this farm. Whenever the minecart with hopper passes over these two hoppers, it will dump some ice into the collection's chest. The next step is to come down here. Now place a block at this spot. Now place down 18 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After placing all those blocks, come down here. Now place down 6 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Once you guys have done that, come over here. Now place down 18 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The next step is to fill in this outline with solid blocks. After you're done filling in that outline, place 5 blocks over here. Now place 18 over here. After placing those 18 blocks, place 4 blocks over here. The next step is to come over here. Now place down 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then place 15 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will be the outline for the AFK pool of this farm. The next step is to come over here. Now count out 2 blocks. 1, 2. Then break this block and replace it with ice. Now place a sign right over here. Now count out 6 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then break this block and replace it with ice. Then place down a sign at the spot. Now count out 6 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now break this block and replace it with ice. Then place a sign over here. After placing all those ice blocks, come over to one of them. Now count out 3 blocks this way. 1, 2, 3. Then break this block and replace it with ice. Now place a sign over here. Then come over to the next ice block and do the same thing. So count out three blocks. One, two, three. Then break this block and replace it with ice. Now place a sign. Finally, come over to this last ice block. Count out three blocks. One, two, three. Break this block and replace it with ice. Then place a sign over here. After you guys are done placing all those signs and ice blocks in those spots, come over here. Now place water at this spot. Then place a torch over here. By placing a torch next to that water, we will be able to prevent that water from ever freezing. Now, come over here and place down water. Then once again, place a torch to the side. Now come over here and place down water. Then place a torch at this spot. Then come over here and place down water. And place a torch at this spot. Then come over here, place down water, and a torch at this spot. Finally, come over here, place water, and a torch at this spot. Once you guys are done with placing all that water, the water should all flow just like that. By the way, the reason why we place those ice blocks is so we'll be able to continuously go around the AFK pool. The reason why we place all those signs is so we can ensure the water will flow correctly. The final step is to come over here. Now place three blocks at this spot. One, two, three. Then place down five ladders. Those ladders will allow you to easily access this farm. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you guys can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. Over here, you guys should have this AFK pool. Make sure all your water flows in the correct directions. Over there, you guys should have your ice generation area. Finally, down here, you guys should have your minecart and collection system. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, first hold a pickaxe that is enchanted with silk touch. Now enter the FK pool. Then aim your crosshair at this level. By the way, if you guys are in Minecraft Pocket Edition, you guys can turn on the crosshair by turning on split controls. Now hold down whatever button it is on your device to break blocks. When you guys go to this front part, you will automatically break all the blocks. It's okay if you guys appear to be missing some because you'll keep breaking them once you come back around. As you guys can see here, when the water pool pushes you back around, you will break the remaining blocks. After you guys mine ice blocks, more ice blocks will generate back. The best part about this farm is that all you have to do is hold down the button it is on your device to break blocks. You will automatically be pushed around and will never have to aim. All the drops are collected by the minecart hopper and then funneled into the collection's chest. By the way, you guys will never have to worry about breaking any blocks besides ice blocks because only ice blocks are within your reach. Whenever you guys want to collect your ice, all you have to do is exit the AFK pool. Now, come over to your collection's chest. As you guys can see there, all the ice will be in the collection's chest. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Ice Farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!